Hello Libra, welcome to another morning inspo. If you are new here, I'm Aji and this is Sacred Libra, where we talk all things Libra. How are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are doing well. Here we'll get started with today's affirmation. If you can post the affirmation in the comments, I will pin your comments. Thank you in advance and thank you to all of you guys who have been posting the affirmations in the comments. I see you. And I appreciate you. Okay. What is the affirmation for Libra today? <clears throat> oh, you got three. Okay. I trust myself and my decisions. I am responsible for my own life. And... I deserve to be treated with love and respect. You got, I trust myself and my decisions. At the bottom of, at the back of the card, it says, what important decision have I made lately? How did I trust myself to make that decision? And then we have, I deserve to be treated with love and respect. What does it mean to be treated with love and respect? Do I get this from the people with whom I surround myself? Going deep there, huh? <laughs> I'm responsible for my own life. What does responsibility over my own life mean to me? Hmm. All right, we got a lot. Then coming, we got, I release the urge to be self-critical. Okay. I feel you're going into a more of a solid or a grounding position with trusting yourself. Also seeing how you want to be treated and surrounding yourself with those types of people. And also not living your life from it for anybody else. I feel like the I am responsible for my own life has a lot to do with not living your life for anybody else, for the approval of anyone else. <clears throat> doing what makes you happy and solely just doing that, what makes you happy. I'm, I'm going into the field tarot for the tarot energy of today. All right. That sage is burning, man. That sage is burning, okay. is the tarot energy for Libra. What is the tarot energy for Libra? So I'm feeling all zen. I just meditated. Oh, yes. Your happiness. So all of this is stemmed for your happiness, not living your life for anyone else's approval, doing exactly what makes you happy, being around people who make you happy, and making decisions that are going to make you happy, okay? You got ten of, the Ten of Cups. This is also harmony. I feel like balance and relationships, all right? You are the magician, You are the magician at the bottom of the deck. I feel like you get to this place where you realize you can create your own happiness. You don't have to keep creating a certain type of vibration. You can create a higher vibration. All right. You're having a different perspective on how you see a lot of things. Okay. A different perspective on how you see, how you view a lot of things. All right, I'm going into the work your light. This deck don't get enough credit, okay, at all. Work your light, Oracle, for this morning. And I was going to say morning meditation. <laughs> for this morning inspo. 
messages do you have for Libra today? Today's going to be a good day. A really good day. All right. A great day for you. All right. What messages do we have for Libra? What's the morning inspo? What is the morning inspo for Libra today? All right. Take a break. Take a break. Get off the treadmill. Relax. Um, you could be running rapid or your mind could, could be running rapid. So I'm just telling you to take a break. Time to get grounded. You got in your spiritual place, make it grounded. Um, right now you are highly empathic. There's a need for you to connect with nature. If you can, you might want to earth a little bit. I know I might wait till the sun, you know, come on out a little bit more, you know, get that chill off the earth. And then go ahead and put my feet in some soil. Um, if you can sit, that would be great. If you can meditate outside, that would be awesome. Even, But make sure you get some sunlight. And also touch the soil. We're talking about getting grounded. All right, just say yes. And your family placement, just say yes. I feel like just welcome... Just welcome good energy. Just welcome good energy and love coming to you. Just say yes, it's already yours. All right. Um, oh, divine orchestration. I felt like for some of you guys, you're coming in contact. This is the I deserve to be treated with love and respect. You're coming in contact with your own tribe, okay? Um, your ancestors has a lot to do with this. I don't know if the people you're coming in contact with, maybe your ancestors and their ancestors, they were close, they were cool or whatever, but your ancestors has, has a lot to do with the people that you are coming in contact with, like they're placing people in your life. Also, you are surrounded by your um, ancestors. You got so many helpers in the spiritual realm. I feel like as you meditate, because this is the same like. It's almost giving like this light. You can see that light is similar to this light, okay? Almost like the same light. As you get grounded more and start to sit in silence more and you start to feel them around you, you start to realize that you are covered. Completely covered, okay? All right, you got star seed. What lights you up? What is something that you really want to do? Or you really want to have. Um, for some of you guys, there's something that you may want to buy, you may want to get, that you do have the means for. Or there's something that you really want to do. You want to take something to the next level when it comes to career, money, and finances. All right? You can do that. All right? Your spiritual placement, spiritual journey placement, you are going to start to create boundaries. You're realizing where you need to create boundaries. Where... Um, there's going to be a lot of people who are going to lose access to you. Or their access to you is going to be limited. All right? This is that perfect time for you to establish better boundaries with everybody. You see everybody's hands is out. Everybody's hand out asking for some time, this, that, and the third. You're about to start establishing better boundaries. Okay? All right, and you have keepers of the earth. You are not alone. Spirit wants you to know your ancient ancestors are right beside you. They stand right beside you, okay? Even in the physical world. They stand right beside you. I just noticed who these people are. Wow. You might be going through some type of crossroads or a, a, a transitional phase that your ancestors want to be close, want the front row seat to something. All right. <clears throat> 
Also, a great question to ask yourself. What are you clinging on to that's stopping you from taking that next big step in your life? That's a great question that you can ask yourself today. What are you clinging on to? <clears throat> I'm a little stuffy, y'all. Just a little too stuffy, okay? To clarify, I'm going into the Sacred Destiny Oracle. Sacred Destiny. Tell me more about Take a Break. I take a break. All right, there's going to be a a huge adventure that's coming towards you. So I feel like there's a need for you to collect your energy, recollect your energy. There's going to be a um, big adventure that you're going to have to take a big leap that you're going to need your energy. I feel like right now it's like recharge, reset and recharge because things are about to pick up speed, right? Um, there's a need for you to also... Find some inner peace so you can connect to your inner wisdom because there's a choice. Like, there's a major leap. There's something that's coming towards you that you're going to need this inner this inner wisdom for. Not outer wisdom, your own inner wisdom. Tell me more about Get Grounded. Something is about to soar. Someone is about to soar. Illumination. Get grounded. Meditate. Meditate. And I was feeling that for myself. Like, girl, you need to meditate. So I meditated this morning. But I was feeling that for myself, like, you you need to meditate. It says, um, <clears throat> this suggests that you are in the realm of spirit. Your spirit protectors, ancestors, and guardians are close at hand, assisting you on your upward journey of illumination. They are protecting you and supporting you. Your spiritual life is expanding by leaps and bounds, even if you can't see what is ahead. Spirit is close at hand. If you draw this card, trust your heart and what you feel more than what you see and what you think, and you will be guided in a wondrous direction, okay? Um... You are about to step into the unseen realms. Mystical and magic inner dimensions. You are going into a higher state of consciousness. Oh my goodness. So now I feel like I had to post the different levels of consciousness and do a reading on that because I forgot where we were. So I got to go back in the channel Look at that reading, but you're going into a higher level of consciousness. Also, you're going into the realm of, you're going into a place of, you're going into an unseen realm. So, not many get this far. We talked about that. Like, you getting, you being blessed or you getting to go into this space and not many get that far. So, you've done some type of brilliant work that brings you here. Make sure you meditate, okay? Make sure you sit in silence. Also, you can sit and, you know, with guided meditation and things like that. But I feel like moments of silence, you may even find yourself just sitting in silence. You may have people like, what are you doing down here? You're like, just sitting down. Just, I'm just chilling. <laughs> Tell me more about yes. Just say yes. Just say yes to it. Ancestors are very, very close, like huddled around you.
going forward, just say yes or say yes to moving along, moving along with something. Don't stay stagnated thinking about the particulars. Just say yes, say yes to forward moving action. All right. When it comes to home, family placement, say yes to forward moving action. Okay. Say yes to love. Open up your heart a little bit. I was also thinking about the roses. You need some flowers in your house. You need some beauty in your house. You need to raise the vibration in your house, okay? Um, there's a lot of happiness here. I feel like there's going to be some real good vibes, like relax, raise the vibration in your house. You being in there with all your ancestors surrounding you definitely raises the vibration in your house, okay? <laughs> Tell me more about the Council of Light that I just hear. to say this because both both pictures have people surrounding your ancestors don't want anything they just want to watch your light the council of light around you don't want anything they don't want nothing in return they don't want you to do anything they just want to watch your light be mindful of the people who are always asking something from you not saying that some people can't ask for things, but you know, be mindful of people who always want something or need you to do something. Because your council of light, they just want to witness your light, witness you living in your light, witness you going into this unseen room, witness you raising your levels of consciousness. Your ancestors want to witness you and support you in your journey. These other people that's on your journey, they want to take from you, okay? Understand the difference. Tell me more about Council of Light. Happiness. Are they setting up? They're bringing happiness? You got helpers in the realm, in the spiritual realm? relationships i did say that there's somebody like that's bringing you to a certain point let's see what's the council of light i think it's probably activation Is a team the, the Council of Light is a team of benevolent beings who are here to assist the raising of consciousness of the planet. They are here to help you achieve your soul mission and are guiding you every step of the way. However, because we live in a world where free will reigns, they cannot help you without your permission. If you would like their assistance, it's time to ask them. They can help you with all kinds of requests. Nothing is too big or too small. Think of them as your personal team of helpers in the spiritual realm. They are willing and ready to step in and get to work. What would you like help with? What tasks would you like to delegate to them? The Council of Light is a team of ascended masters, light beings, angels, and guides devoted to the rising of earth and all humanity. If you are a light worker, it is from them that you receive your personal mission. Like a spirit world, United Nations, they want to thank you so much for doing this work and devoting your life to uplifting the planet. Pray to them for clarity and guidance regarding your personal mission. Put your request, put in your request and let them get to work. This is you receiving help. Also, I told you, this, they just want to witness. They want to be there to witness, support, and thank you for doing your work. And bring you all this happiness and inner peace. They're bringing you inner peace, delight, new beginnings, transformation, protection, trust, 
flexibility. They bring in so much, so many things. All right, tell me more about Star Seed. Wow, you got the juicy peach. Diligence and fulfillment. I like when the peach comes out, especially when it comes out. I like it when it comes out in the overall message, and I like when it comes out in money. Okay, I like when that peach comes out in money. It's just like, take it all in. Something is sweet right now. Until you have diligence. Use this time to plan. For action steps in the future. It's almost like preparing yourself. Also, it's, it's given that you have something to sit on, you have something to sit back on, where you can actually plan how you're going to really do something, how you're going to answer your, your deepest calling, all right? Also, embrace this abundance coming in. I feel like there is some type of abundance coming in with this big old peach, and it's going to buy you some time to plan your next steps ahead, okay? Okay. And boundaries, all right? You got the courage. Have the courage to say no. Wow. Look at once you leave or you take your power back, there are so many miracles that happen with you being free in this way. There's so many big things that comes. I feel like a part of this has a lot to do with self-love, how you love yourself. Um, and you start to treat yourself better. You start to, to, to notice things when you don't have enough energy for things. And you notice that you need to rest. And so you're okay with saying that to yourself. So you're okay with saying that to a lot of people. When you think about resting just self on self, do you allow yourself that rest? Or do you muscle through it and don't respect your boundary to you where you're tired, you need to lay down or you're, you know. Your energy has been disrupted, so you need to recharge. Do you say that or do you normally push yourself to the limit? I feel like that has a lot to do with you allowing people to push you to, to the limit because you only accept how you treat yourself. Tell me more about Keepers of the Earth. Tell me more about Keepers of the Earth. One of the keepers of the earth as well. Security. Yeah, you're safe. Wow, this is your own personal security. Now, people running around with their bodyguards and everything. That's how your ancestors look running around with you. They just want to protect you. They want to make sure you're safe. All right, you're not alone. Okay, your ancient ancestors stand right beside you in protection. So you're so secure on the physical realm. I mean, on the spiritual realm, so above, as above, so below, have it saying go, which I know is up, is down as well. So in the spiritual realm, you're so protected. You look like that you're surrounded by a bodyguard, like you're like a star. Somebody's a star in the spiritual realm. So somebody's going to be a star or that's happening, or that's happening beneath the surface on the physical realm. And you got the truth. <laughs> Your ancestors are also showing you the truth of who you are. They're also bringing you to this magical gateway of a rebirth, 
all right? And change. A lot of things are changing, okay? Let me leave you guys with some angel messages. It's a nice, wholesome reading that your ancestors are protecting you, okay? They also bringing different things in your life. Ancestors are surrounding you like you're some type of celebrity or what's higher power, not higher power, but heavily guarded. And they're just watching your light. Your light is a magnificent light. Somebody want first class seats. To your light. What's the angel messages for Libra? We have donations, tithing, and charitable work. Give joyfully to the organizations and people who spiritually support or inspire you and know that your generosity will be returned to you many fold in miraculous ways. The time, supplies, money, or other resources you donate will ensure that your positive energy multiplies, okay? Um, have the courage to ask and accept help. Your angels are surrounding you. Asking for help is a sign of strength, as is accepting it as it's offered to you. Very often when you ask God for help, prayers are answered through other people. Be sure to accept this assistance as well as give it to others as you are guided. I just knew one just had to flip off the dagger. All right. <clears throat> And release jealousy. It says jealousy is an affirmation that you don't have something. And the universe manifests exactly as you affirm. Let other people's success inspire rather than frustrate you. If they can have it, so can you. All right? And you have organized for success. Don't let the word organized intimidate you as it is simply a way for you to ensure clarity of purpose. Organizing your thoughts, your reports, your living and workspace and your finances will help you know and plan your next action steps. All right, so something is telling you to um, definitely you take, take some time to get things organized, okay? And you have words of abundance and God is your source, okay? All right, guys, so this is your morning inspo. I hope this reading resonates with you. If it does, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.